Okay, pickle forks. The pickle fork is this, very very small. You'll notice that the forks are very very tiny, not much room to shoot through the fork. This is normally pickle forks are only over the top shooters like that. Um, if you've ever watched pickle fork videos online, um, the accuracy with them is absolutely amazing. You know, short range they are. They you know unbelievable you know, bottle tops coins you know you can shoot anything if you can see it um, I like pickle forks I've been shooting them for a little while now um, I'm not the best with them um, but I'm consistent with them and like I say I do like shooting them um, because they are easy to shoot to be perfectly honest with you uh, the main difference you know this you can carry anywhere you know you wrap it up it's literally palm your hand they're so small very thin easy to carry you know and you can, you can take them anywhere um, now, how to shoot them, and now there are several ways to shoot a pickle fork. There's one important fact which I'll come to in a minute, but basically the difference between a normal catapult and this is a normal catapult, you know, you have an anchoring point up here or to your shoulder or whatever, you're looking down the band set, getting your target lined up, and you release. But the pickle fork is not that at all. How you shoot it is basically you hold it as you would a normal catapult, like that. Okay, so I'll give you a view from behind, just like that, normal. Okay, now what you do, you can either shoot it upright or on the side. It's completely up to you. I cannot shoot it upright. I've tried, I've had four kits, hand hits, and I won't do it anymore. I can shoot it that way and that way alone. I'll show you what you've got to do. <clears throat> so essentially, you fire a normal catapult, like that. You pull back, boom. Doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, that pouch is always going to be in line either like that or like that. The way you fire a pickle fork is you turn the pouch 90 degrees. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. You turn the pouch from there 90 degrees, that's it. So if you want to fire upright, it's like that. If you want to fire on the side, it's like that, 90 degrees. Simple. The reason for that is if you don't do that, I'll show you a view from behind. When you're shooting, that's what I see. So if you don't twist that pouch, it won't flick up and it will hit your hand about there and it will hurt. When you twist the pouch, you basically you force the band to flick up a fraction just before it goes over the fork so it won't hit your hand. Basically what I'm trying to say is if you twist the pouch and your technique's right, you won't hit your hand. So yeah, just um, just do as I, do as I say and you'll be okay. Now, aiming, you don't aim these, you literally, if you can point at something, so I've got a can over there, if you can point at that can, you can hit it, simple as that. So to aim, put your ball in the pouch, twist the pouch, point at the target, and just let go. Just, it's, it's as simple as that, that's all you've got to do. Um, obviously you've got to look at it, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll show you now, so you want to be I'll use a 9.5mm steel ball bearing, which is there, so like that. Now, I'll, I shoot on the side, you're welcome to try this, I can't shoot upright. If you've ever shot upright and you've had a hand hit, you know what I'm saying. So, on the side, you want to turn about just 90 degrees. Now, on the side, the reason I shoot on the side is because your pouch is like that normal, you're actually twisting the frame. And it, you get this exact same effect. You know, you can go like that and twist your hand, but I just do that. So right, so we will do. I'll show you what I mean. So you get your fork. Bear in mind the wrapping tucks over the back. The point, and you shoot. You're never going to have a hand hit. You can take game with this. You can kill pigeons, birds, animals, rabbits, whatever you want. The accuracy is amazing, and like I say, if you keep working on it, you will be hitting coins out of the air in no time. Um, practice makes perfect, um, and like I said, it will make you a better um, full-size catapult shooter by using one of these, and I strongly recommend everyone have a go. Thanks for watching. If you've got any um, comments or anything, give me a shout. Cheers.